Hey folks, how y'all doing? <laughs> Welcome back. We're gonna be doing a review today on a smokeless electric grill from Calm Dew. We're gonna take a look at it online, actually at walmart.com is where I found the best deal on this. And uh, we're gonna go through all the features of it. I'm gonna show you some pretty cool stuff that's on it. And you know what, we're gonna cook. I've got three really nice and thick uh, pork loin chops that we're gonna put on there. We're gonna give them a nice, oh man, that's gonna be so good, folks. I tell you, we're gonna, even, we're gonna talk a little bit more about what smokeless means when it comes to electric grill. So let's take a look at it, at it online first, and then we'll dive into it. All right, here it is on walmart.com, folks. Uh, this thing's on sale right now for 80 bucks. It was 129, and this is a thousand watt indoor grill. It's got two removable, it's got a, um, Two non-stick removable, a removable grill, and then a griddle. Sorry about that. And uh, it, it's these things get my past experience with these things. They get gosh darn hot, and that's what we're going to look at. So let's uh, start looking at some of the features on this Calm Do Smokeless Electric Grill. All right, so let's start tearing apart. What do you get? You get what you're looking at here. Plus, you get a griddle, a griddle uh, tray too. So this is for doing searing, this is for fatty stuff, so it falls through into the grease tray. This thing has got a, what I really like about it is down here, see this down here? This is a removable grease tray. And that's that's pretty cool, I like that. I like that feature a lot. I haven't seen that on other ones. Uh, it's got, obviously your top comes up, it does have a gasket in here to help hold the, the moisture in and obviously the smoke in. And then like here's your griddle top the other one is considered a, a grill top. You're saying when when would you decide to use this one as opposed to this one? And this one is when you're like, if you're going to be doing like burgers on here and there's going to be a lot of grease and you want that grease to fall down and go into that drip, drip tray, tray down there, uh, that's when you would use that. So let's uh, tear apart a little bit more. Uh, this thing is, you're saying, Tom, how do you clean something like this up? Oh, I'm going to show you. Well, cleanup is going to be obviously easy on the griddle and the grill top. This is a non-stick surface here. Um, you've got these bar back these fins back here to help distribute the heat. Also, the stiffness, so when it gets hot, it doesn't warp. You got these two nice little handles coming. Obviously, they get hot, so be careful with that. Now, here's the cool part: as you're saying, how do how do I get down there? This whole thing where the heater is that just pops out, just like that. Use two hands for it, and you just pop it out like that. And then your grease tray is right here. This goes out and uh, you can take and wash this, put it in a dishwasher, this dishwasher safe. So that's pretty cool. And, and that's where the grease goes. We, we talked about that removable grease tray. There it is right there. So, and this whole surface right here is plastic, pretty easy to keep clean. So it's, it's really kind of, kind of a cool system. Uh, and now you're asking about time. You said you're going to talk about smokeless. Let's talk about the smokeless. So part of the smokeless when you're operating this is to press this button, that turns a fan on. Now the rest of it is relying on, remember I showed you the gasket on the lid? You wanna make sure you have the lid on in order to keep the smoke within the cooking chamber itself. And then you've got a series of filters, one on this side, one on this side, and they are removable. And that is, I think, aluminum or stainless steel. And these are washed, washable. And then that catches all the grease and all the smoke and uh, makes it go away. All right, so you're asking where that where that fan where it vents and it vents out the bottom like this. So you know we're gonna we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my griddle top and everything and get everything ready to go. And uh, first things first is we're, once we get it back together, uh, and uh, I'm gonna turn it on high. And it says it goes up to 446 degrees, but uh, uh, we're gonna see how hot it actually gets. Turn it on, use the thermal show you how hot it gets. All right, while we're getting heated up here, people always ask me dimensions. The cooking area is 14, oh my gosh, come on. Uh, there we go, 14 by, well, let's say, just say eight inches. 14 inches by eight inches, 1,000 watt. You see the temperature range is 176 to 446. I don't know how they come up that. The uh, warranty on this thing, they give you a warranty card that says thank you and scan the QR code and, and to win a three-year extended warranty, I think the regular warranty is one year, but it looks like you have the opportunity to win three. And then if you leave a, uh, an experience on Marketplace at Subject, you get a Amazon $30 gift card. So all you gotta do is say what you liked about it or maybe what you didn't like about it. And uh, this thing all of a sudden turns into $50. So <laughs> that's a pretty good deal. Getting it heated up, uh, give her a couple minutes here and show you how hot it gets. All right, it's only been about seven minutes. I waited for the power light to go off. Give you a look, see what we got there. Look at it. Oh, look at that. 
446, I don't know how they come up with that. 446 is the high. So in the middle, it's uh, 535 and the power is not on now. The thermostat shut it down. But you look at that, look at the edges there. 442, 456. I mean, it's, like I said, if you got something for the inside of the house that you can sear a steak on. I mean, you can sear at uh, 420, not a problem. So uh, it's left to do, right? Cook on it. So let's take a look at what we're cooking today. All right, we got three nice pork loin chops here, folks. Pretty thick, about three quarters of an inch. A little SPG on there, salt, pepper, garlic. And uh, let's put them on. Put the cover on. We're gonna steam up right away, and we're gonna put the fan on. Oh, there you go. You gotta press it, and look at how the fan is taking, doing its job. So uh, I think we'll let these go for maybe two, three minutes, and then we'll give them a flip and give you a look see. So I just want to show you how well that those fans work. Remember we put it on, and everything steamed up. Well, with the fan on, it's been like 45 seconds and pretty much a lot of the steam has gone away. Uh, that's a nice feature. So I turned the fan off and 30 seconds later, look at how the steam and everything is growing in there. You know, you know and if you're like doing like, um, like vegetables or something like that and you want to steam them a little bit, yeah, I wouldn't use the fan. I would just let, let, let the moisture do its job. But in a case like this, or, you know, obviously I don't want any smoke where I'm inside the house. You know, I would I would run the fan, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So, where would this be perfect, folks? This would be perfect for an apartment. Be per uh, you know, perfect if you're in a in an RV. The height from down here, and obviously if you store it and flip this over, it's only six inches, and then it's 12 inches this way, and 20 inches this way. So very compact, and uh, like I said, these things I've, I've cooked on ones that are similar to this before, and. Uh, I like the features of this one. It works very well. All right, it's been, actually, it's been about four minutes. So let's uh, give them a turn here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. On a, an electric grill inside the house. Huh. Oh, my gosh. That, that is, uh, that's pretty impressive, folks. Uh, keep on going here and give you a look-see as we proceed. I wasn't expecting that. All right, another four minutes. Ah, look at that. Oh my gosh. That is just beautiful. I can take them off, I'm gonna plate it up and give you a look, see, give you my final thoughts on the Calm Do Smokeless Electric Grill. All right, folks, we're ready. Quick wash of uh, the nonstick. It's the real deal there. Calm Do, uh, let's uh, take a look at that. Look at the chops, man, oh man. I tell you what, that looks absolutely delicious. Yeah, that that's ready to eat right there. Should I take a taste test? You want me to take a test test? I tell you what, it's a little bit of the juice there. Nice and moist. Mmm. Easy cleanup, folks. I'll tell you what, I I, I can't say anything bad about this. The Calm Duel smokeless indoor grill, folks. Check them out. Pork chops are awesome. I'm going to keep on eating here. <laughs> Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, folks, I'll leave the link down below where you can get this. It's at Walmart. Um, I don't even know if I can leave the link. I'll try my best to do that. <laughs> but if, if, if I can't, go to walmart.com and type in Calm Do Smokeless Electric Grill, and you'll be able to find it. And it's a real steal, in my opinion, 80 bucks. Fill this little card, this thank you card, yeah, oh, no, no, the, um, this card right here, and you'll get uh, 30 bucks on Amazon. Well, that's a great deal. Tom Horseman on YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.